to my channel. My name's Abby and I love macrame, DIY home decor, and a good thrift find. Today I'm going to show you how to DIY this extra large black macrame wall hanging. Let's get started. So the items you're going to need include this three millimeter black macrame cord, a three foot long wooden dowel, black paint, and scissors. I decided to spray paint my wooden dowel black because I am using black macrame cord, but that is completely optional. To do this hanging, you're going to want to cut your cord into 50 20 foot long strands. You'll then meet the ends of each of your strands together and create a loop and place this over your wooden dowel, pulling the two ends through. This creates a lark's head knot and is how you will attach all 50 strands. And once all the strands are attached, you'll just want to make sure that they are all evenly placed. The start of this design includes five rows of square knots, so you're going to want to take the first four strands to create your first square knot. And again, to create a square knot, you're going to take the far left strand and place it over, and then the far right you'll place over the far left, under the two center and through, and then pull tight, and then place your far right over, and then the far left over, under, and through, and then pull tight, and this creates one square knot and you're just gonna continue with one square knot all the way across. And for the next row, you're going to take two strands of one square knot and two strands of another and create another square knot. So again, you're placing the far left over and the far right over, under, and through, and then pulling tight, and then the far right over and the far left over, under, and through, and then again, pull tight and you'll just want to continue this row of square knots all the way across. And then for your third row, you're going to go back to those first four original strands and create another square knot. So basically you're alternating the placement of your square knots with every row to kind of create this crisscross pattern of square knots all the way across. So once you have all five rows of square knots, you're then going to create a straight line of the double half hitch all the way across just to kind of finish out this section. So you're gonna to wanna to cut another five foot long strand for this. And I like to tie it to the end of the dowel just to keep it in place. But once I have two strands knotted, I then untie that strand. And then you can really see the line that you are creating with the double half hitch. And once that section was complete, I then cut another five foot long strand and created another line of the double half hitch all the way across. The next day I then got started on the second part of this design and as you can see, I am creating diagonal lines using the double half hitch. And then in between each of the V's, I am doing a square knot kind of close to the straight line and then just completing out the V's. So here's a closer look at this section so you can better see what it is I am doing. But for this next part, I'm going to create a diamond shape of square knots as you can kind of see. And then I'm just kind of adjusting the height of my first square knot because I really want to make sure that this diamond shape is going to line up with the point of the V's. So I'm taking the first far left cords of the first square knot and matching it with the other two cords to create the second square knot and then the far right cords of that first square knot and matching it with the next two cords to create a third square knot. And then finally creating a fourth square knot just to complete this diamond shape. I'm then continuing my diagonal lines of the double half hitch all the way down to create these X's and diamond shapes. To complete this section, I'm then doing another straight line of the double half hitch. I'm also doing a square knot again in the center of the V's, 
but I'm doing this as I do my double half hitch just to make sure that the square knots actually line up with my straight line. I'm then creating another straight line of the double half hitch. And for this section, I'm creating these lines of five square knots all the way across. And then again, completing this section with another straight line of the double half hitch. I'm then creating another section of the X's and diamonds. And then lastly, another section with five rows of square knots. And with it complete the next day, I then tied and trimmed my ends. And there you have it, an extra large macrame wall hanging. with the way this wall hanging turned out. I think the black is perfect for this time of year, especially as we get into Halloween. I really love black and white home decor all year round, so this will definitely be used in my home. If you guys like this video, don't forget to click the like button below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more macrame, DIY home decor, and household projects. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!